Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to automatically link between the Power PI and Primavera. And before we start, I would like to thank you for the positive feedback that you give it to me. This is really amazing and I was very happy with the reviews that you give it to me. Uh, and let's start. One of the most comments that I received is how to automatically link between my Power PI and the Primavera without using Excel in between despite the fact that I prefer to use Excel in order to customize your database and take whatever you want. But some people, they, they like to automatically uh, link the Primavera to the Power BI. Whenever they update their Primavera, automatically this will be updated in Power BI and automatically they will update their dashboard. So the first step, uh, you need to know the type of database that you are using. So if we go to Primavera and go to help, Okay, go to about Primavera and go to system. As you see here, I'm using, this is a type of database, I'm using SQLite. This is the type of database that I'm going to link to Power PI. And to link this database, you have to use something called ODBC. ODBC is referred to Open Database Connectivity, and it is a tool that allows external programs to read your data from a database. To, to download this driver, there is a website here. I will uh, leave the, the link in the comments. And we are going to download actually uh, two tools. First, I'm using Windows 64, so I'm going to download this tool. And another tool, which is SQLite or DBC. Okay. It's a very light, so once you download it, you will install these two tools. Okay, let's open for the first one, hit next, 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 and choose SQLite. And hit finish, and use the other one. Hit next, 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 and choose both options, and hit finish. So that's it. After that, we have to configure this database. So just go to start and hold ODBC. Then you have to hit add and choose SQLite 3 ODBC driver. Okay. And you have to add the data source name. So the data source name, I will put planning database. And let me put double hash. Okay. And for the database, I will hit browse, then go to uh, users, documents, okay? And choose the SQLite file. So this is the database file, okay? That's it, just hit okay, hit okay again, and let's go to Power PI. Here in the Power PI, as I explained in the course, let me close this one and we'll go to get data then hit more okay just hit odbc okay choose odbc okay and just open up this one and you will find this is the database that we prepared okay so this is how we can automatically link between both of them uh, for the username and password this is the username and password of primavera okay so hit connect and that's it now you have full access to your primavera database but you will find too many tables and too much information which is too much information to import so for me i prefer to just pick whatever i want rather than putting everything so for example i'll go for i'll take o ops the organization breakdown structure okay and I will take also the task tables. So I will take task information. Okay. I will take all the cost information. So I will choose these two tables. And also uh, what else I need. I need the calendars. So I'll go for calendars. Uh, we need also the resources. So I'll take the task resources. And of course, uh, we need the project, so I will take the projects as well. So this is the project. And hit load. 
okay and it will take some time because literally that you are reviewing or uh, just you are importing all the database that you have in the primavera for all your projects and whenever you update your primavera automatically we refresh your data here and it will be impact your uh, power pi model so these are the information that we imported the cost data the ops the project cost the projects the task information okay and the task resources okay and as we explained in the course this is the model and these are the tables here you prepare your relationships and you start doing your model in order to prepare your dashboard and these are the tables if you want to look have a look on the data itself so these are the data that we imported this is the cost data this is the project cost this is the task information for all your projects so uh, very handy okay so once you did this, you adjusted your model, you will be able to, as we explained in the course, you will be able to prepare a dashboard like this one. It has the overall status, the weight distribution, the summary progress, the earned value measurements, the activity status, the resources status, and the Gantt chart, and the layout samples. And for the layout samples, uh, you are linking between the, lay the project layouts and the project information in an interactive way okay and here this is a sample for the ground floor okay and this are also the, the cost data so and also i will leave the link of the course in the in the comments so that's it for today please if you have any comments just leave a comment in udemy or on my linkedin or or here in the comments so thank you and see you next session bye